Hey everyone, this is a video just going over how to set up a bare bones WordPress Docker um, instance. This is mainly just for local uh, development. Um, I use it every day in, in my work. Um, however, mine are slightly more customizable um, than what I'm going to be running you through today. But um, hopefully, you should be able to understand the, the basic concepts um, and kind of build up a bit of foundation knowledge around Docker and how uh, you can use it in your day-to-day -day, um, processes. So um, let's get started. Um, I have a, 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 a an empty project here. Um, the first thing um, you wanna do is have Docker and Docker Compose installed. Um, I, I'll provide links to those um, in, in the description. Um, the other thing is having some type of code editor like Visual Studio Code. I also use uh, the Docker extension. Uh, this just allows me um, to kind of have a a uh, overview of all the containers and the volumes um, and the states that they're in. Uh, it just makes it a lot easier than having to do everything by command um, command line. But yeah, that's just a bit of a, a tip, I guess. Um, so the first thing we want to do is we want to create a Docker compose file. Um, so go ahead and create that now. Uh, this will basically tell you how, or tell her Docker how to um, build your containers and set them up. Um, we'll be basing this straight off the WordPress official image. So if we go to, um, I'll add this link into the description as well. Um, but we'll just go um, the Docker Hub, host all the, um, the, the default images, all the official images, um, and even some other ones. Um, basically, down the bottom there's a section, um, you can read through all this stuff, I'd recommend doing so if you were to use this. Um, but we're just going to take this example, um, it's very basic and minimal, uh, which is probably the best place to start for most people, especially if you haven't delved into this before. Um, I'd recommend having a good understanding of what a um, WordPress site needs to run. Um, you've got your basic server, I guess that you install everything on. You've got your web server like Apache or Nginx, which will uh, make those requests um, to and from the server. Um, then you've got PHP, um, which is what WordPress is uh, written in. Um, and then you've got your uh, database, which will be a my, well, in most instances, will be MySQL. Um, so pretty much uh, we have these services, um, and these services are basically um, going to be containers. Um, the image tells you, or tells the um, container how to build itself. It's basically the blueprint um, for that container. Um, and then you've got port numbers. Uh, your port basically is how you map um, your current port into, I guess, the, the virtual container and how that links together so you can access it. Um, outside that container. Um, you can do the same thing with um, the, the database, but uh, at the moment it's not really necessary. Um, uh, you've got your environment variables, which are very similar to how you'd have a .env uh, file. Um, they just allow you to pass through um, uh, values, I guess. Um, and the last thing would be your, your volumes, which are your virtual volumes, which is basically where um, the container kind of holds all its information, I guess. Um, so if you're familiar with, um, I guess, most file systems, um, you can do what's called symlinking, which basically links, um, creates links between folders, um, similar to sort of shortcuts in Windows for applications, but more for, for folders. Um, this is basically um, same kind of principle. We want to have a local um, folder called WordPress um, linking to the container's um, web directory, like the root, um, and Apache and Nginx, it's usually going to be um, at var www.html forward slash html, um, but you can change that. Uh, it just depends on how you want to configure your environments. 
Um, so really the only thing that we need to do here, um, well actually, to, to get it running, this is all we need. Uh, we don't need anything else, we just have to run docker compose up and um, it'll build our containers and um, get our images. Um, however, if you wanted to do any type of, um, if you wanted to persist the data that these containers created, um, you'd enable these kind of symlinks. Um, and the way that we do that is, um, well, at least on my operating system, uh, we need to um, link in to the, the project or the repo directory. Um, basically say, link these containers, or these uh, directories, sorry, to these container volumes. Um, and that will just persist all the data here. Um, so at the moment, these are empty, but once those containers uh, are built based off these images, um, these will be populated with folders and files um, to to run those containers. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, these these are just kind of environment variables for your local development environment. So committing them to a repo isn't going to be the end of the world. Um, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, and keeping it all within the Docker Compose file. Um, just simplifies everything, especially if you're going to be uh, have multiple people working on it. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. Uh, so just go to terminal, new terminal. Uh, as I said, you will need Docker and Docker Compose installed. Um, I've already done that. So all I have to do is run Docker Compose up, and this will go. Um, I've already got the images because I have on these before. But basically, it would go through and collect all those images that are required. Um, and as you can see on the left-hand side here, it's um, gone and populated all these files that we need uh, to run our WordPress uh, site. Um, now, uh, a, a word of caution, um, or well, more of a note, is that if you do, um, uh, it only installs WordPress here if, if you um, don't have anything already installed. Um, it does sometimes override some files, but if you want to run a different version of WordPress, um, you can get it from the WordPress website and just paste it in here. Uh, or you can go ahead and um, get the WordPress um, by tag. Um, so you could do like 4.7, something like that. But um, you just have to check with the um, WordPress docs um, on what type of tags you can use because um, MySQL it's fairly simple but because WordPress they uh, show you the actual uh, uh, PHP I think it's yeah it has um, all the the tags are slightly more complicated um, so it's worth just kind of reviewing these and working out what you need to run your particular WordPress instance in um, yeah pretty much um, our Apache um, and MySQL containers have been built. Um, and if we go over to our Docker extension and just reload that, um, we can see our two containers. Uh, we've got two images as well. Uh, we've also got our volumes, uh, which these are now sim linked um, to these two folders. So if we go to um, basically the port number. Uh, this is the this is the internal port um, on the actual container, and this is the port on our local machine. So, to access this um, container from the outside, um, we'll just go to localhost um, 8080. Um, you can update that to 80, and that way you can just go straight to localhost. But uh, you might be ha you might have something else running on the 80 port. Um, just depends on your local machine. Um, So, um, if everything goes well, you should you should have a um, installation screen pop up, um, especially if you've done exactly the same steps as I have, uh, where I haven't added any files or any database dumps or anything like that. Um, and we can go ahead and create our site. Um, just kind of just put in some um, test data, I guess. Uh, 
um, and effectively it's it's everything you need to run a, um, a WordPress site um, you can log in um, if we duplicate tab and just go to the home page um, you can see that it is just a, a basic WordPress install using the default theme and everything um, and if we log in Uh, we have the um, basic WordPress dashboard. We can go ahead and install um, plugins, um, add new themes, create pages, um, posts, you know, your, your normal WordPress kind of functions. Um, and this is a good way to start with a, um, a brand new website. Um, you can build it locally. All the changes will get um, persisted in these folders. Um, so, once we do close down these containers, um, we can start right back to where we were. Um, obviously, um, if you didn't want to do that, you could, especially on the database side of things, you could just um, comment that out. Um, but for the WordPress files, it's usually pretty important, um, mainly if you're just doing like templating updates and you want to have like some type of kind of test data um, where you wouldn't want to push the database changes to the live site, you could just have them um, be ignored. Like if you had a git ignore file, um, you just ignore pretty much everything that's inside the database. Um, so if we were to just go control C, that will stop our containers. Um, and we should see the, the icons change from the forward icon to, um, the, the stop icon. Um, and basically that just means the containers are stopped. So if we did Docker compose, or if, actually if we went to the website, um, we'd see that we weren't able to connect because those containers are down. However, if we go Docker compose up, that basically restarts the containers, um, doesn't rebuild them, just kind of starts them back up again. Um, and you'll be able to access your site again um, however if you want to um, completely remove these containers including the volumes um, and, and these are just the virtual volumes so all this stuff here won't be removed um, but it will just remove the containers so if you were to make any changes here um, you'd want to go and clear and remove those containers and rebuild them to the new kind of settings that you've um, added here so go and do that And there we go, so they're all um, being uh, removed, and um, that's it. So um, this is the, the first part of two um, on just the simple um, Docker environment. Um, th this, is this one was based on creating a, a brand new WordPress instance. Um, the next one will be based on how to bring over an existing um, WordPress site. Uh, thanks for watching.